Hello YouTube, Matthew here again. I am bringing you some footage from YouTube from around the world that is as new as I could find here today. This one reads, buckle up, football stadium sized UFO caught on video. And it was submitted August 11th, 2021 by Third Face the Moon. Give you a little to disclosure is on. Look on look at it here. Our road trip across America. Let me tell you, we're working on two documentaries right now that are unbelievable for me. Yeah, they are. Uh, they got their act together over there. We'll uh, start with some of their footage, though. I don't want to steal too much of their thunder there. Jump right into the. Yeah. One that looks similar to some of the ones I've been catching around here. The first clip right now coming in from South America. Watch this. You can see that. So we're looking at this again. You we're can see it went a little straight to the right, the right smaller unidentified object out right now, from underneath it, and it, it appeared to have wings. Maybe some kind of tiny lantern. It's a possibility, but the attributes of this resemble something that we've seen in the past. So Good the movement there, the technical difficulties. Yeah, you can see it's almost like a crescent moon shape, but it's hot orange, and it's, it's very bright, which kind of reflects the of the candle what you see the tiny slanter but the shape is totally different what we're seeing here is it's pretty unique it, it's a good capture and then we see these orbs seem to drop from this object and this is what catches my attention it, it's a cool shot i'm glad he's got a steady hand on it and I, i'm going to share this on third phase moon because what we're seeing is unidentified we don't know exactly what this is and i like what we're seeing i like the phenomenon when we see these uh anomalies in the sky and then all of a sudden they're projecting out little small probes and this phenomenon has yeah. been spotted across the, the world but so far one of the best captures is one we're looking at right now we've seen them in long beach captured by jim martin but this one i really like as well because it's the exact yeah. same thing the phenomenon if this is something that's a regular occurrence like a tiny lantern you would see yeah. uh, these videos all the time these are very rare these kind of uh, events that we're looking at. So, I'm digging this one. Guys, I want to get your opinion in the live premiere. Uh, let's get to the next video right now. Coming out of Switzerland. Check it out right now. Never seen anything like that one. It's like a Vimana from the Hindu tale. We're seeing pyramids today, Vimana, uh, some of the light ships. So, broad daylight sightings, they don't get much better than this. And this is coming in from Switzerland. We don't really get uh, UFO videos submitted from that region, but I'm glad uh, we're looking at this right now. Again, the blown up image to the right and uh, the original video to the left, this craft, whatever it is, it's, it's massive. Some people might actually say that this resembles uh, the bell, the Hanabu. I might be butchering right. the name right now, but what this is uh, interesting is this may be something that has been around for over a century hidden in uh, Switzerland and it's revealing itself. But what's your thoughts here? Yeah, this is a really good one. It caught my eye as soon as I saw it. And 
this is very representative of what people have seen across the world. The Hanabu, the, they call it the divan. And could this be it? We're seeing this, this nice picture quality right now. And it's a great shot. Uh, we're also, it could be reminiscent. Above the valley and the homes there. It's very unique. Of a police shape. box. We don't really see a gondola. So I'm ruling out this is a man balloon. What we're seeing is something different. And it's, it's just a static right there. Like a doctor in a police curious. box. What's your thoughts in the chat right now what this is? I'm going to put this on the top 10 list this month on the UFO captures from people like you. Yeah, Brick. This is a good one. And some people might actually say that this could be maybe some kind of advertisement or something like that. All right, we got, we got a lot of new on here. We'll hurry on to the next one. See, okay, so we're going to be uh, letting you guys you know. You see there's quite a bit of that footage. Out. That's uh, what Third Phase Moon is all about. We're putting these videos up to find the answers. And yeah. sometimes we don't get the answers, and sometimes we do. And uh, let's hope we can find out answers to all of these videos that we put up. That's the whole nature. Now, let's get to this next one. Third Phase Moon's of the Moon has been out forever. Out South America, an active volcano known as Hope Temple. I might be butchering it, but... Take a look at this. An incredible triangular shaped craft that seems to be caught in the time from the webcams to Mexico that's keeping an eye on the mountain and the activity, but capturing something that looks to be the TR3B that indicates itself for a flash of time during the webcams live shot of the volcano itself. What is this? Yeah, Blake, Popocatepetl has been a hot spot for such a long time. We've been receiving UFO videos from that region over a decade. And this is one of the most fascinating ones I've seen in a long time. You recognize, like Blake just said, that this looks like a TR-3B just perched above the volcano over there. Yeah, and um, uh, a lot of these sources, again, they've been out for years, including Third Phase of the Moon. Um Leak Project, uh, and there's some newer YouTubers like Gina Marie, Colvin, all of these people have been showing these um, the way, and then the next rest known footage so for a long time. So what we're time. seeing is a, a progression of photos, and now this object is there, and the next thing it's it's non-existent. What is this that we're looking at? I estimate the size to be huge. I'm almost say two football fields in length. And it's just staying there. It's black, and it does resemble the TR3B. What's going on with these craft around these volcanoes? This one exactly is a craft, because a lot of these anomalies, these phenomena that's captured around these volcanoes in South America, uh, tend to be orbs or flashing lights, which is fantastic. You see them uh, entering and exiting uh, the crater itself. But this one has structure, and for moments... In this uh, time lapse photo sequence captured by webcams to Mexico, you see something that indicates like a trail behind it as it comes into frame. Uh, What's the meta propulsion behind this? Is it something that we have? Okay, here is the next one. We're going to look at it a little closer because I'll back up. You got to see this one. Record on how large this craft is in comparison to the volcano itself. Incredible stuff. So. As we get to the next UFO video right now, this one's a strange one. Rich Giordano gave permission to share this last night's episode. We're going to look at it a little closer because whatever was captured way up in the sky is absolutely incredible. A light beam, it looks like. It forms something that you can't really explain. It almost seems that it's melting. It has a cube shape, but then again, it has this uh, melting pattern along the edges of the cube itself. It's way up there in the sky. Some people might have thought that it could have been a reflection from within a window, but we can see this video shows and indicates that it's way up there. So what it is is 
the question and hopefully get some answers because right now I'm stuck and I want to get your guys' opinion in this live uh, premiere right now because well, this thing's crazy and it's kind of spooky too. Oh, what what what's going on? Is this maybe a weather anomaly or something up there in the sky that has some structural integrity that's just kind of melting away? And at one point, it, it almost looks like there's a police uh, car up there or something <laughs> in a fog bank. Brent, what's your thoughts here? Yeah, I'm glad we're going over this one again. There's so many anomalies that's attributed to this sighting. And we see kind of, it kind of blades downwards and it creates this pillar effect. And it shakes this cube kind of looking craft in the sky. It almost looks holographic. Could this be maybe some DARPA holographic imagery being projected into the skies? Blue beam That's a technology. Possibility. But maybe. Then again, I'm asking the question, is there maybe an object in the sky at the same time not being projected? And that's uh, something that we all need to ask. The colors that's being attributed to this, it's pretty fascinating. It has all sorts of arrays from purples, and then it goes into this kind of bluish red. Some people thought it was a police helicopter in the comments last night. And maybe even people said that this is perched up maybe on a mountainside, but we can see clearly that this is somewhere high in the sky you can see the person pull back and it gives a vantage point and then he pulls in and you can see the height of this thing this isn't perched up on any hillside or a, a pole or anything what we're seeing is hovering in the sky and the best part about it is just this capture it, it's very unique and i said earlier like could this be the top 10 these might be a tie right here with this unique sighting right here as far as this month, uh, they're really close, Brett. And this was captured in Florida. So we're trying to get Richard Giordano to meet up with the person who shot it and get his account of what he captured and hopefully get a better resolution so we can uh, enhance it even more. Because what we're looking at remains a mystery. And there's some strange things going on in the skies. And Brett brought it up just moments ago that could this be a projection, a hologram of something? All right. Uh, we're heading across America. We're heading to Washington, D.C. All right, and with that, I'm going to switch over to the other television here so that you can see uh, what I have on this one for you uh, as best as possible. Okay. This is a little newer. Pardon my reach. I'm going to have to go across here. <clears throat> if it isn't one thing, it's two others. <laughs> so, another technical difficulty. And then... Uh, this is UAMNTV from August 28th, 2021. It would have become hard evidence to deny. However, despite everything, attempts were made to make the extraordinary events go unnoticed. They would have succeeded if the Nuevo team had not obtained all the evidence. Faru is a young man from the Middle East who prefers to remain anonymous since he recently immigrated to the United States. The morning of December 19th, between 3 and 4 in the morning, he was at the Air Force Memorial in Washington, D.C., not far from the Pentagon. Approximately one kilometer and 300 meters away, Farouk was walking with his dog when he could see the extraordinary UFO floating over the military center. He recorded it with his cell phone for approximately 24 seconds, and although he claimed to have recorded it for several minutes, he only offered these extraordinary images. In them, 
We can observe the traffic of various vehicles in the there distance. There it is right there. It passes very close. <laughs> you can also hear the noise of passing cars and a person speaking nearby. This is a recording. Yeah, that's not something you're supposed to see every day. <laughs> we were able to locate the precise location from where the images were recorded on the left base facing the Pentagon from the Air Force Memorial Monument. Compare the images, it is the same place. According to Farood, the witness, he walked with his dog from a neighborhood very close to the monument, most likely from Foxcroft Highs. There, he would have encountered a homeless man whose voice can be heard in the recording and who explicitly refers to the object as an alien spacecraft. This is the only interview that this witness has offered until today. I went to sleep on December 18th. Okay, we're gonna... We're going to stop at that. We have this entire footage here from uh, 7 News Australia. Uh, they caught the... We have several quiet uh, images. This is from a military targeting system. And uh, this is what they caught. I believe it's Chile. This one is in Chile. in November looks like 2014 it sights in on it loses it sights in on it again several times uh, and if it's not this one another one similar to it uh, it shows them uh, dropping some looking aerosol or chaff behind it. Oh yay, the commercials. Gotta throw in the commercials. <laughs> uh. All right. It keeps going for a minute. Try to keep it up with me. Throws in another commercial. Help them to truly understand what goes on down here. I've been a stargazer ever since I was a kid. My grandmother even gave me a compass to make it easier to find the north. Okay, side. they just skipped me to a different one. So Indeed. I'll go back to it. Great question. So important. What they witnessed at the, with the USS Home. Unexpected sight captured by yeah, the Navy. All right. all right, I'll go back. As you can see, there's several sightings. Well, there is that one from Chile, where they follow it for a while. And this is still the same one. See, there it goes. It's leaving the chaff behind or some kind of jettisoning something from behind it. I suspect some kind of virus. targeting or sighting. There it is. It found it again. They found it again. It looks like they were giving it chase. Come on, 
Right, the channel. They had uh, some older footage included uh, as well. And well, this is from 2014, so that's fairly, fairly antiquated as far as sightings go, considering they're happening right now. see a distinct shape there and it's, it's moving pretty steady Let's jump forward a little bit here. And, uh, as you can see again, they, they must have trailed this one for a while. It's all this is all still the same event. There it goes. It's throwing out the chaff now. See, look at that. Look, you see it's clearly leaving some kind of chemical um, or some kind of trail behind it. Aerosol type. Long aerosol. Laying out some long aerosol spray there. Or jettisoning some fuel waste product maybe. Let's, let's think positive. <laughs> The last time they were here during the bubonic plague, and they were doing that while it, the bubonic plague was going on. Pick a camera. There it is, guys. Make this way. They must have had several uh, jets up there filming whatever. Or... Here's another one. This is from William Guy. Nothing in the sky at all. And all of a sudden, boom! Bam! What is that? Anybody tell me what that is? And this one was on the fourth, three forty three. I think a few people saw this one. Oh, look at the clarity on that shot. I hope you can see that. You can about count the bolts if they have them. 
That could be staged, bro. Maybe. Okay, and this is from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Leadership on the mind. Oh, see, yeah, yeah, that black dot going across. Yeah, it's saw it. It's kind of oh, on the square shape. Uh, or maybe the changing shape. So the Los Angeles looks like. Crazy track on the edge of the morning. Yeah, go behind some clouds and come back out. That's no surprise there. Oh, yeah, now you can see it's uh, has more detail to it there. I hope you can see it all right. I have it facing, so I can't take it away without risking the view there. Again, you can check, you can catch this on UFO sightings caught on camera. Just put that in. Uh, a compl complication, complication of the internet's most uh, divisive videos. There. Seven News Australia. Just jump over here because yeah it's tracking it for a while we get it a lot of UFOs just leave it alone I uh, see this is the Arizona lights phenomenon here this is a footage of the Arizona lights this film was captured by a local news crew in 1978 believers say it's proof of UFO activity the Pentagon has confirmed a strange and unexpected sight captured by Navy personnel off the coast of California. The video shows flying pyramid-shaped objects hovering above the USS Russell and another warship. It was leaked by filmmaker Jeremy Corbell. Uh, he's also shared three images from the USS Omaha showing an unknown spherical craft. The Pentagon has confirmed its Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, what a task force that is, is examining the footage. Creator and editor of ExtraordinaryBeliefs.com, Jeremy Corbell, joins us now. Jeremy, I recorded some of his vision. stuff before. What sets this... this apart from other UFO sightings captured in the past? Yeah, it's a pleasure, David and Matt. Nice to be with you. Nice to be with you, Australia. What sets it apart is the government's willing to admit it and has several sightings of it and there's been enough sightings and enough people have seen it now and the situation has become such that it will become undeniable that there are and always have been unidentified things in the air and that's what historical quote-unquote mytho is about 
with that being said and those being seen, thank you. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Whatever the case may be, wherever you are when you see this. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Matt out.